rolled as our donkey, everyone. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? I'm the Gamer Hobbit, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft here. It was kind of a little weird introduction I just did there, but uh, just wanted to change things up. But today, it's World Tour Day. So, uh, as you can see, we've got shaders on. Uh, looks pretty awesome indeed. Uh, we're using Silda's Vibrant, the extreme version, just right here. Uh, yeah, so it's like one of the only shaders which actually have, you know, the swaying grass and leaves and stuff. At the moment, anyway, I like the swaying grass and stuff, so. Uh, yeah, so we're going to take Gerald with us. Dorito's going to stay there. But what, we're going to just have a, you know, just a tour of what, uh, what we've done so far. Obviously, we haven't done a lot for 25 episodes, but, but we still got, we got to a 25 milestone achievement, so we might as well do it. Uh, so we're not going to start it today, straight up, we're going to start at spawn, which is from what I can remember it's this way, if we can uh, cross this, we're going with Gerald because it's a lot quicker and a lot easier to do. Uh, I just named him out like that because I, I didn't know what else to do. Uh, so spawn is about here-ish, yeah. It's about here because there's a lava here. This is where we first kind of like spawned. Uh, it was a nice area, but uh, we moved that way and we'll get to that later. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even realize you could see from this area. So we went this way after. Uh, yeah, so we headed this way. And we're just going to head through all these trees and stuff. And we're going to go to our first, well, actually kind of one of our only few ways that we've built and we need to go a bit more this way uh, so this place is called Parish in case if there's any newcomers um, Gerald stuck uh, so this is Parish over here uh, we should have gone the long way around actually uh, which we'll probably do because you know you want to take in the, the scenery and all that so why not Let, let's just go around and in fact as well before we do that let's just take our armor off because you know you want to see you know, the Christmas skin, all its glory and all that stuff. Uh, so we're just going to head all the way around. So it's not going to be a really long world tour. Uh, as you can guys can tell, there's hardly anything to really show you guys at all. So, you know, it's just a nice way to just kind of celebrate the 25 milestone mark, I suppose, for the videos and for the actual series as well. So, uh, all the support, highly appreciate it. Uh, and we went too far now. <laughs> it's this way. Here we go. Here's Parish. So this is this is the village of Parish. Um, we don't have a lead. So yes, yeah, so we got a nice bridge over here. Uh, and, and as well, if you uh, um, if you guys are newcomers, uh, I would like to what I like to do for this world. We're just gonna stop out here. Is uh, try and incorporate as much uh, lore into this as possible. Just a lot of backstory just to fill the world full of uh, stuff and all that kind of good stuff. So here we've got some backstory for Parish, uh, and we also got, you know, we're trying to inc incorporate different build styles, build themes and stuff as possible, but obviously when we start out, you're kind of constrained, confined into that area as to what you can do. So we're at Parish, uh, and we'll just talk a little bit about Parish. Uh, real quickly, Gerald, stop, stop walking away. Not even like moving. You're just, just like doing that real without moving anything. Okay. Um, so here's Parish. It's a essentially what you could call come back the the starter or the tutorial village from base to the video game. It's kind of like that, kind of the starter village of what our series was. Uh, so there's not much here at the moment. Obviously, we'll, I would like to do some more stuff into the future, but uh, at the moment, uh, you know, just all these other ideas and stuff, we'd just like to do, and not much time and all that stuff. So we've just done this so far. So well, we can head, we can head on through into the village because we can probably uh, park drone somewhere. Uh, so yeah, so here's Parish. It's it's nothing really much. It's like a really small. Uh, Mainly kind of a farming village, I suppose, but uh, if we can find a spot to put. Hmm. 
How about if we put you there and you don't walk away? You still want to walk away, okay. So, Parish is essentially, I'll just talk a little bit about the backstory of Parish. Parish is essentially, uh, this place was governed by, this parish, well, parish was named after the family that moved in here. Uh, they were kind of the owners, it's kind of the, not really the owners, but they, they were the ones who found this place and thought this was a good idea to set up farming operations. Uh, and once they did, uh, there was people who, who passed passed by who came and realized about what this place was and then they started to move in which is why this is not all the way out not extended all the way out that way that's why it's kind of confined here uh, so yeah and eventually after time you know civilization came and built up you know they began building generating other economy other than wheat such as like the, the water mill here, just with all these logs and all that, and uh, yeah, so then what happened after that, so as time grew by and all that stuff, you know, it was going pretty good, uh, but then, uh, which is one of the next projects we're going to build, uh, we're going to talk about, we build a mine, which will be over there, in that little kind of dam type thing, which we might as well actually take you, might as well take you over there, uh, and it was essentially kind of a... A little, not really a little. It was an idea at first. I thought it was going to be a dam, but nah. I thought, why not? Let's turn it to a mine, and it's kind of a, a mine, probably a coal mine, probably, uh, which also was a source of income for this place. But uh, however, uh, <laughs> however, there was a group of bandits, which we need to kind of figure out. Um, what they will be, and they came over, they kind of killed whoever the miners were, and they essentially just took over this place. Obviously, it'd be a lot different to what it was. This is kind of where I've mainly been getting cobblestone, pretty much. Uh, and we found a mine shop too, down, uh, take it down in that hole, if you go all the way down to the bottom, pretty much, of what it is, and then break a block or two to the left or right, then you will find it. Uh, but then, yeah, and then pretty much after that, the, uh, the people became, most of the people became pretty desperate because, you know, their wood supply was failing, uh, there was a lot of water which was leaking in, into the wood. So that's why it's gone that dark-ish colour, that's why it's gone to the spruce. Uh, and not just that, it looks nicer too instead of using oak. But uh, that's mainly the reason why, because it, it's relative relatively flat. If you look at it, because the beach is right there. You have the river, which is just right here. So it's, it's uh, yeah, it's a little bit high, like, but not it's not mm, ginormously high. And so we're just gonna just go on here. Uh, yeah, I always forget with shaders, you can never tell when it's coming night because it's always different. Please. Please. But we're not gonna we're not gonna There we go, we can see. Okay, so yeah, and then basically after that what happened was that yeah, because the wood supply was failing and because most of the other people here who lived here uh, worked for the mines, uh, the people became kind of desperate for resources and stuff and this family the parish family, they became really greedy because of, you know, all these people taking up their residence and all that in this area, so they decided to go, screw that, we're going to have the wheat to ourselves, we're not going to really give much out, we're going to just only give a couple of rations just for them to survive, just so to make sure that, you know, there's no suspicious activity amongst some of the kingdoms, which hopefully will later build. But uh, overall, that's kind of the main kind of backstory we've got here. We haven't done too much else backstory. So you can see here, obviously on the outside, it doesn't look too much. But when you come in here, obviously, obviously yeah, it's not perfect. But there's a lot more stuff that adds to this area. Because yeah, if you go from up onto the, one of those hills up there, you won't really see, you will only see like, you know, kind of the buildings, but in the inside, you can kind of like it, it kind of has a nice environment 
Obviously, it's not perfect. I'm not saying that, but you know, that's one of the things I like about this area. It it kind of hides most of this natural, these small details like the rocks, the, the path, obviously the path, but you know, those small little shrub type trees, uh, the well as well, which we built quite a while, like, not too long ago. It was one of the last things we built here, and uh, I thought it was a nice little design. It's you know. Kind of smallish. It's it's a kind of a actually moderate size, but you know, with the iron bars coming down, I got some spruce just to show it's kind of uh, being wet by the water. Uh, but this was actually here. I'm just gonna go off that. This is our first place that we built, our very first house, which we built in episode one, but then we just touched it up in episode two. Uh, so it's a nice small, nice small compact house. I try and include uh, interiors for everything. It's two diamonds. Yeah, trying to include interiors for every single place because, you know, I just like, I like to do that. Just so, you know, I can just improve my skills for both exterior and interior. And just so, you know, it just gives, you know, just makes it nice on the inside too. You, don't, you, you know, you know it's, it, it's not really any points just to have a house which is just empty. Even though, yeah, most of these houses will probably be generic and stuff. It's still better than just having a plain uh, interior. And so, I think once we built that house, we built the start to build the farmhouse. Now, this kind of acts as, as yeah, a farmhouse, which is just a storage area. So, we've got a lot of weeds going on here. Uh, it acts as a storage area for all the, the seeds that we get and all the wheat we've got, which we've got a lot. Got a lot of stuff. And we also have a little watchtower up here, which we've yet to add a little light source up here. I was thinking of. And as you can see, it's got a. It's got a kind of a nice advantage spot. It was kind of hard to build the roof because I was going to do it originally as white wall, but I thought the strip spruce logs looked better. Uh, and not just that, the white wall looked kind of crap the way I did it. So it has an overall nice lookout spot. And somewhere that way, which may be another project we might build soon, is a village which has been overrun by zombies. So that will be a nice build to go for. And uh, as you can see, there's a pull up there, which we'll get to later. We'll get to later. Don't worry, we'll get to that. Uh, so yeah, overall, I liked this build. It's you know kind of obviously it looks a little bit empty in the inside, but it's alright. We can deal with that later. Uh, and as you can see, we got a nice source of wheat out here. It's kind of a bit of a. I want to go for a more natural shape instead of just going for your typical, uh, you know, squarish rectangular type. Uh, farms so uh, I just did something more like this uh, you know we obviously got some like fence posts with some torches we got a nice little not little we got a nice scarecrow going over here uh, yeah and we have you know the water supply I wanted to try and make that natural too however sometimes it does kind of get into the conflict with these crops and stuff it was just like yeah but uh, yeah obviously I'll definitely be able to improve upon this it's, as you can see, there's a flaw to that right there. So I had to put in slabs to make sure I didn't do that. So I'll do, I'll fix that up later. Uh, and then we just come around on the outside. So we got a nice little exterior decorating here, and we got a kind of like a little area for the water to just come out. Obviously, we could probably fix that later too, in a later date. And uh, the overall outside, the, the look of this, the actual farm part on the outside looks kind of, uh, it looks really plain. It, it is, it's kind of, it was hard for me to incorporate something without making it look like as though it was sheltered. I don't want it to make it look sheltered, but this feeling looks more like a mine shaft feeling. But yeah, it's alright. It's alright. There's always room for improvement, so that's, that's fine with me totally fine and these are meant to be flat yeah and then we just incorporated this kind of fence fence spruce trapdoor uh, type wall on the outside here and uh, and obviously we have the parish estate kind of family and Gerald what are you doing <laughs> I mean, it's really you've gotten a lead but it's all right uh, I mean, obviously we've just got some chests and stuff here. I couldn't really be stuffed to move the crafting table and stuff at the moment, so... Yeah, I, I couldn't be stuffed. Um, so that's what 
the, the place looks like. It's kind of a relatively large-ish place, and I did take some inspiration from the internet for this area. Uh, just well, mainly on the outside. The inside was kind of just just trying to figure out what to do. Uh, as you can see here, we got a nice grandfather clock, type one. It's a nice design that I that I tried to come up with with the help of the internet. Uh, so I got a nice golden helmet with the armor standing on there. I, I feel like that looks awesome, that design here. And we got some lanterns, which are probably too big. We might replace them when lanterns actually come out in 1.14. I don't know, I'm still not too sure about that yet. Actually, you know what? Hang on. Where's Gerald? Gerald! You're still here. Okay. Let, let's get you to your... Let's get you to the spot. This is a little spot out here, which we'll probably finish up later. Uh, with, um... Just a little spot for horses and stuff, just to, to sit here and chill and all that, even though he's a donkey. Uh, <laughs> and we got some arm stands here, got like a cooking stove here, and a table design. Uh, obviously with bread because that's what they, they make. And uh, got a carpet, and we have a upstairs area, which is just really a bedroom. There's only really two special about this place. I'd like to do some more here later, but right now we don't we haven't exactly got the mind for it. <laughs> I don't really have a good mind sometimes when it comes to small interior details, which is why I go to the internet just looking for some ideas. Uh, so yeah, this is and then this is the back obviously you know some nice little flower pots hanging over um, hanging on the walls and all that. So um yeah this is actually we're, we're gonna leave you here. We should probably put a fence in there too, but it's alright. We'll not worry about that now. And uh, so anyway, we'll come out here. And obviously we've got some, some rocks and leaves and stuff. I mean, this is like a smallish type house. There's nothing really much in them. They're kind of all the same-ish. Oh, and this one does have a balcony too that just overlooks the ocean, which is a pretty nice view, if I say so myself. Not too bad. Uh, if you can get out of there, there we go. And uh, and then obviously there's a path which goes this way. There's another house which likewise is pretty much the same. Nothing really too much different in here, except for like a table. Uh, and this is the water mill here, as you could, as I told you previously. And uh, this was kind of one of the sources of wood, one of the sources of um, economy that this place generated. However, the logs were becoming, there was a flaw in the way they did it. It was starting to become really damp because the water was pretty close and it seeped into the, the grass and all that and eventually it, it turned into a really soft type wood which wasn't really too good because uh, this is meant to be a hardwood even though this is oak. But yeah, it's just imagination. <laughs> and the sun's going down already, gee whiz. Um, so this mill I did take inspiration, I know I did take a lot of inspiration from the Elder Scrolls. This is from you know, Skyrim's you know, water mills kind of, uh, see, as you can see the turbine, the water turbine there, or the water wheel. It's a nice design, I feel like, you know, it's, it's maybe a little bit too big, but it's alright. It's, it's, you know, you can change that. I can always change it later, but you know, it's fine. It's fine with me. As you can see, yeah, a bit of Elder Scrolls inspiration there, which we will get to later. Um, and we're just going to head over to get another night's rest. But obviously, before I, before I go that way, I'll show you again. Not again, but there's another house at the back here with a nice little crop plantation and some water and some sugar cane growing. And uh, see, this is a kind of a standard place. And then just the path is just a mixture of coarse dirt, path, and a little bit of cobblestone mixed in. Uh, and obviously, it's more noted with the cobblestone as you know the paths is more going up and down just for the slabs, since there's no dirt slabs or anything in this game. So uh, yeah, and. Overall, this is kind of it for this village parish. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna grab Gerald. Uh, we're gonna hop out. We're gonna hop out. There we go. <laughs> and there is some stuff over here that I'd like to show as well before we move on. Uh, 
obviously, as you guys can saw, you can see there were obviously there's this bridge. There were also those boats, which I took inspiration from Germ Sea Boy, I think. Like a really good resource pack YouTuber, and also you know has his own like survival world and stuff. I did take inspiration of that with the uh, trap doors and stuff for the boats. Uh, when lanterns also come out, I'll probably replace that and put a lantern out on the front or something just to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, but yeah, so I added one there. There was another boat here, and there was another boat on the, over there, which we'll, I'm just gonna cross the bridge for. Uh, so this is, yeah, this is like where this boat unfortunately made a wrong turn. And that boat is about to meet the same fate if they are not fast enough to react. So I did this as just a little natural transformation just to see how well this would turn out. I feel like it looks pretty awesome. Uh, you know, it's, it's a nice, it, it definitely looks nice. I, I feel like I, I was thinking of putting this all across the uh, the river here, and I'll, I'll, I'll probably do it later. But for now, we don't really exactly have a lot of cobblestone stuff because for one of well, not just for that project, because of the other project that way, which will which we saw at the start of the episode, and uh, it kind of just mixed in a bit of clay, a little bit of leaves, to obviously path and stuff, which is pretty nice. Uh, I did a little bit of, the, quite a bit of that off camera, but I'll try and make sure I do some more of that on camera. And Jarrell is running away again, but uh, anyway, we're going to head up there now. We're finally going to head up there, and there's a path which we we'll have yet to make. We should probably go that way to the, the village, um, the NPC village, and we're just going to head towards if we can get up here, I haven't exactly been up here by this method of travel. Um, <laughs> so we're just gonna head this way towards the the Nether portal, as you can see. This was my take on a Nether portal for the first time. I, I didn't exactly want to make a traditional style, just a normal Nether portal in a cave. Not saying it's bad. It's just that I, I wanted to try something else, something new, and I, just, I need to make a road that comes up here. Uh, so this is where we've got a nice, uh, we've got a road, not a nice road, it's a road that's just laid out for some stairs that come up here. And as you can see, this portal is pretty huge. Oh, and then the shaders with the purple light, looks pretty awesome, but uh, yeah, this is a massive nether portal as you guys can tell. Uh, I do have some stuff up here, though. See, I, I got a lot of obsidian because this is a nine by seventeen, I think. Probably, obviously, the big spawn I've done. But uh, as you can see, the spawn that way. It's a nice view of Parish as well over here. And as, as I was saying before, you don't exactly get that feeling. You get a little bit there, but you don't exactly have that full um, feeling. Like, as a obviously, it's not really much but you know it's a nice feeling when you're down there but yeah pretty huge portal uh, I'm pretty proud of the design obviously inspired by the Oblivion gates and the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion uh, I did find a couple of other one designs on the internet so I kind of just took a mixture of those and kind of mixed it with obviously some andesite cobblestone all that stuff so we'll just go through the portal just quickly show you our nether spawn which was horrible by the way we had to move this portal with uh, structure blocks because our portal was originally there so it's, it's, it's kind of a crap nether spawn but it was an idea for the future that we terraform this entire area and make it into a, like a, a little oblivion realm for a nether hub because yes, yeah, we still need to do all that other stuff so, I don't know, there's not really too much to this place. Uh, Jerol, where the heck? You're still down in there, okay. Yeah, so there's not really too much to that area. Uh, yeah. So, that's kind of this place done, overall. Uh, we, we still have yet to do some more stuff. We might actually do some more over the coming episodes, but for now, I don't exactly have the resources to, because you may know why, you may, may, may not know why, so. I'll show you anyway. 
so we're going to head to our last place on this list. We haven't exactly got much stuff, as you guys can tell, because uh, I just started out as a YouTuber, so obviously I don't exactly have much to show, and usually a first world tour, you don't exactly have much to showcase anyway. But if it's a bit long, then I'm sorry, you know, kind of first world tour video, don't exactly know what to say still. Uh, and as well, you know, it's got a bit of backstory. I would like to put backstory in these areas, so that's why. Now, this place, likewise, to the Oh, well, like, it's not really like Parish, but, uh, it was kind of a, it was supposed to be a Halloween build, however, uh, it didn't work out to be finished on Halloween. So, obviously, as you can see, you, um, this was the place that we saw at the start of the episode. Um, it's meant to be a graveyard with, you know, obviously a, a cathedral in the center, and he can go through. That's good. So we're just going to put uh, Gerald in here. And we have Dorito just here too as well. He, he We tamed him quite a while back as well. He was just basically our overseer of something which lies within there. But uh, I'll just go over you a quick overview of just the actual what We built this last episode. We finished it last episode. We started it two episodes ago, but it was a really small one. But I raised it up. And as you can see... It's nice because it, it's all it's like a really ruined type wall, which is the type of feeling I wanted to go for. I'll probably add some buttons off off camera, maybe, just to show all these pebbles and all that stuff. It, it's really nice though, because you can't exactly see everything which is in here. That's what the feeling I was going for. But there's little pockets, little holes in the wall that you can get a glimpse of, but you can't exactly get the full picture. So you don't know what is in there. So. That's the thing I really liked about this ball. Uh, yeah, so this place is not done. It's kind of... Uh, it's complete at this stage, but... We can do more to it, obviously. We, we need to do more to it to make it done. But it's like it's kind of like with Parish. That village was done. I called it done, but we can still do more. You know, it, it's, 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 it's a village that you can't exactly... It's a project that you can't exactly call done. So yeah. Uh, so we got a nice, we got a small gate there, uh, and we have a pathway. You know, kind of. It's it's yeah. As you can see, it's not done. Uh, so there's a cathedral there, which we still have to do some more work up here. We got some chains coming out of the ground. Uh, I wanted to capture that feeling for the, the Halloween type area. That, that's the thing I was trying to go for. Uh, so we have some, like these chains which come out the ground, kind of inspired by. Moloch Bile's ones from Elder Scrolls Online, except not with the actual portal and all that stuff. Just chains just coming out the ground, pulling up the earth, and just coming out. Just some dark enchantment that's been casted over this area. Um, and this statue here is meant to be... Oh, I don't know what the creature will name it, but it's meant to symbolize... It's meant to... Not symbolize. It's meant to be kind of the protector of the dead. Yeah, um, just to make sure that they are, that they ascend to the heavens peacefully without any evil stuff. But obviously, it doesn't work because there's chains, there's chains and stuff. Uh, so as you can see, we're not fully done yet. Um, yeah, we did have a treasure map. We did find one. Uh, we did find a shipwreck. We got a notch apple. Uh, but yeah, we, we got we, we got some other plans to do with this place, uh, there's a dead tree, yeah, that, that was an idea, but we're going to change that up. Uh, so this this die right here um, was a path layout, obviously we're going to change the actual surface to be a different material, like the grass and all that, we're going to get rid of that, because it's why it's not done. Uh, and these are all just gravestones, just a really simple idea just to do. and. We do also we're gonna probably build something either there or over here somewhere in a future episode. But we're not gonna be returning here anytime soon uh, because I would like to move on to some other stuff. You know, yeah, it's, it's kind of, yeah. As you can see, it's still not really done here. I use black concrete because you can see it's pitch black. You can't exactly see anything, uh, which is what I wanted to go for. You know, it, it kind of removes a lot of the light source in here. Obviously you have 
we'll get to him in a moment. Obviously, you can see the light. There's he, a little bit of sources of light up there. But other than that, there's those two, three uh, sources of light which come in, which is what I wanted to go for. It's probably a little too much, too much tonight, but it's all right. We, we kind of got a feeling that we wanted to go for, and I just incorporated some spruce logs just to make it not as dull and grey. But uh, when we get dark oak, we're going to replace it. It's just a temporary block thing for that. Obviously, this is the interior. Uh, we put candles, not tor candles, torches underneath just as a source of light. Uh, and then we, this is our little friend here, York, the pumpkin jester, which we, we got on Halloween. We, we trapped him, uh, Dorito watched him, and we got an name tag and we put him on. And he was a pain in the butt to put in there because he kept dying from boat suffocation and all that, which I was trying to put down there. But uh, this was meant to be a banner of kind of almost like arcade from the Elder Scrolls, just as uh, you know, the, he was the god of the dead and you know watches watches them over. Likewise with that beast, that's kind of what his depiction is almost. You know, how like printers and stuff in Elder Scrolls are depicted as certain stuff that's kind of what this god depiction was uh yeah and this was meant to be a kind of a banner just to just to fill it up behind just to be like a little symbol of what it is obviously it's not really working out too well which i still have yet to do so you can see that it's not fully done and this is um a lectern just obviously just a lectern here and we have this hole in the ground here uh it collapsed i don't know how long ago <laughs> which reveals some sort of uh, secret passage which goes to a crypt uh, as you can see it's a nice little crypt here uh, which which continues but um this was uh, this is meant to be a little secret passage door so you would throw something which we've yet to build because we don't have the stuff for it so you'd throw probably a sword down uh, the pressure plate would go and I would send a mess uh, redstone message over here and this door would open but obviously there's no door here because we don't have the pistons and all that stuff because you need sticky pistons we don't have slime so uh, once that opens you come through here uh, these are all meant to be urns yeah, I thought the, the flower pots were a pretty good idea for that and then obviously as well the terracotta kind of suits it a bit well it's a little bit off color as you can see but it's not too bad so um yeah and obviously we have the staircase which comes down uh, and then we just come through here this is meant to be a little trap area which we were thinking of doing later but we don't have the redstone for it so yeah and then you come through here and this is a little burial chamber as you can see which has been suddenly unveiled to the surface um, we don't know what this is going to be for though it, it's a it's a coffin um, as you can see and it's surrounded by lava it's a pretty fat coffin <laughs> but yeah it's a nice mixture of coal blocks and black concrete powder and we're going to put something here going to put some lights up here and stuff and uh, I was thinking of doing something there, but I'm not too sure about it now. Um, obviously, we have these little statue things just to make it not so flat with the walls. And obviously, as well, I put in little uh, small co smaller coffins in here with like probably famous people, or not famous people, famous warriors who who dedicated their lives to for this. Um, person here you know, who sacrificed their lives and all that stuff so yeah there's all these other urns uh go on. Yeah, obviously this nice detail with the top part with the ceiling there but obviously likewise this place is this place is mostly done this actual crypt um and as well we got the lava here as you can see with shaders you can hardly see the glass you can see the tiny bits of pixels from the connected textures but um yeah this is gray stained glass so that that's the feeling i wanted to go for so you, you look down yeah that's the closest thing that i can capture to make it feel like a bit eerie or freaky but yeah 
overall, that's kind of uh, the actual showcase. I haven't named these two places yet because I haven't actually thought about it. So if you got name suggestions, feel free to put them in the comments below. Because uh, I haven't really thought about them. Because uh, we're going to be starting a new project in the next episode. Oh, and Creeper's back again. He did this last time. Which, for some reason, there's a light source which is missing. Which was up there, I believe. Go away, Creeper. Um, we don't have torches. We'll do that later. Uh, but overall, I think like, that's the world tour. Um, obviously, as you, can, you guys can tell, not everything's done. I'll try and do them. I'd like to try and finish this all these areas as soon as possible but I just wanted to show you all what I've done and see if you enjoyed this type of video for a shader showcase and not just that it was episode 25 so why not I was tempted to I was so tempted to delay this push this back by another 10 episodes because it was just too too you know like we haven't done a lot of stuff but yeah, I, I just thought, why not? Let's just do it. Let's just see how it goes. And, uh, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed this Shader Showcase. Oh, not Shader Showcase. Um, this World Tour, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I'll do a Shader Showcase. It should be uploaded, hopefully, shortly after this one comes out. I'll probably do a Shader Showcase of this actual world. What we've done, just, you know, kind of a cinematic type one. Yeah, with different shader packs of what this looks like on this world. Uh, I won't put a world download because obviously there's not a lot of stuff to make it a world download. So that's one thing I'm definitely not doing. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we do more. And hopefully I'll be able to show you more by episode 50. And I apologize if this is a very long episode. Um, yeah, so thank you all very much for watching. Have a good day everyone. And... I'll see you shortly with a couple of other videos coming out soon. Have a good day.